morning, everyone. Wow. How are you today? Good. After watching that video, I already feel the excitement. This is amazing to see you again live. Thank you for being here. And welcome to Hong Kong FinTech Week 2021, where we are going to be scaling FinTech future together. My name is Jamilet Cano, and I'm going to be the MC for these two days at the global stage. And we're going to be reinventing your experience from past events because this is our sixth edition and it's Asia's leading financial and technology conference. We are combining our physical experience with you here live at the convention center in Hong Kong together with the online experience for the world to watch us. So make sure that you learn, you grow, you connect, and you network throughout the event. Go and walk around the floor and meet wonderful people. This event certainly, it's all about our wonderful speakers and the incredible content. But for sure, it's also about you. About you and those connections that you create. I'm so happy to see you, and I also want to thank, first and foremost, our event organizers, because without them, we could not have this wonderful event. So starting with Financial Services and the Treasury Bureau, Invest Hong Kong. We also have our co-event organizers, Hong Kong Monetary Authority, Securities and Futures Commission, and Insurance Authority. And our official appointed event organizer, Finov Asia. So thank you for putting together such a wonderful lineup of speakers and content. As I said, we're combining the physical experience with the online experience. And this is going to be streamed throughout our event app partner, swipecard.so and this is very easy you can find it at the back of your batch dot online I'm sure you're eager to start I am so enough of me I would like to welcome our first speaker we are so honored and proud to have him here to give us his welcoming remarks so please welcome on stage Mr. Paul Chan, Financial Secretary, Hong Kong Special Administrative Region. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. It is my distinct pleasure to formally open Hong Kong FinTech Week 2021. This sixth edition is taking place in person right here at the Hong Kong Convention and Exhibition Center and online everywhere. Yes, for the first time, FinTech Week combines in-house sessions with virtual events. In short, the world is watching. Scaling the FinTech future together is the theme of this year's Hong Kong FinTech Week. More than capturing the mood of the conference, the theme speaks of the future. For FinTech and all of us who believe in its transformative promise, this year's event welcomes thousands of you fintech founders and innovators, financial services professionals, regulators and government leaders, academics and researchers, and plenty of investors too. And from more than 60 economies, some 300 high-profile speak, high speakers, 400 exhibitors, and more than 25 delegations in all. You are here, there, and everywhere 
to gather intelligence, insight, and inspirations from another action-packed FinTech Week. This year's edition features discrete global stage, future stage, and Hong Kong stage sessions and activities. Let me begin with the big picture, a reassuring picture despite COVID-19 and numerous other challenges. Hong Kong remains a prime international financial center, and you need not take my word on that. The latest Global Financial in Centers Index, published in September, saw Hong Kong's return to number three, globally, just behind New York and London. We are Asia's top financial center. More big picture affirmations can be seen from the national 14 five-year plan. It supports Hong Kong's continuing efforts to expand our global financial services status and offerings. At the same time, it backs the development of Hong Kong as an international innovation and technology hub. The plan also counts on a continuing expansion of connections between the financial markets of Hong Kong and the mainland. A welcome case in point is the Cost Boundary Wealth Management Connect in the Guangdong, Hong Kong, Macau, Greater Bay Area, just launched a month ago. Thanks to the Wealth Management Connect, mainland investors can access global wealth products via Hong Kong. No less important, its establishment serves as a watershed moment in the Greater Bay Area's financial development. And thanks to our one country, two systems institutional strength, Hong Kong remains the destination of choice for fintech companies looking to operate or expand locally, regionally, regionally, or globally. The Hong Kong SA government is actively working with mainland authorities to help the fintech industry to seize the far-reaching opportunities emerging in the GBA. These efforts are paying off. Just two weeks ago, the Hong Kong Monetary Authority and the People's Bank of China signed a Memorandum of Understanding on the Greater Bay Area FinTech Supervisory Cooperation. The new cooperation will allow financial institutions, tech companies, and innovators from the mainland and Hong Kong to test cross-boundary financial applications via a one-stop sandbox. The agreement will enable more timely feedback from regulators and users, expediting the launch of fintech products while lowering costs. Equally significant is the continuing collaboration with, between our Hong Kong MA and the People's Bank of China in the testing of the use of digital renminbi here in Hong Kong. The goal is creating a convenient means of cost boundary payments for Hong Kong and mainland residents. The Hong Kong MA is also studying the prospect of issuing our own central bank digital currency, CBDC, for retail use in Hong Kong. And I look forward to its findings in the coming months. I have got more digital updates for you. Our faster payment system, known as FPS in short, has been rapidly developing since its launch in 2018. It now supports person-to-person -person and merchant payments, as well as account top-ups and the e-payment of government bills and fees using QR codes. At the end of September, FPS has recorded 
more than nine million registrations, average day, daily real-time transactions exceeding 740,000, worth some 5.2 billion Hong Kong dollar. A commercial data interchange is also in the works. It will connect banks and service providers such as payment systems and public bodies or utility companies, providing the banks with welcome data. That will help banks conduct more accurate and objective credit assessments, enhancing trade finance efficiency and making it easier for SMEs to obtain trade finance. The system is expected to get going sometime next year. There is more. In February, we launched the FinTech Proof of Concept Subsidy Scheme. It encourages financial institutions to collaborate with FinTech companies in the development of innovative financial services products. The program, I'm pleased to report, was oversubscribed. A total of 93 projects were approved and given funding. They cover promising growth areas, such as reg tech and payment tech, as well as cost sector and cost boundary payments. I'm confident the projects will result in more convenient, expeditious, and reliable services. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is good news for the public and the growing Hong Kong fintech sector. So too is our electronic consumption voucher program. This scheme gives every eligible Hong Kong citizen aged 18 or above some 640 US dollar to spend. Created to accelerate economic recovery by boosting domestic consumption, the scheme is being implemented entirely electronically to promote the more popular use of e-payment by both consumers and merchants. As at the end of September, the four store value operators, store value facility operators participating in the scheme have registered over 3 million new consumer accounts and acquire over 80,000 new merchants. That includes taxi drivers and wet market stores as well. Up to the 1st of November, some 6.3 million residents had received their electronic vouchers, totaling about 3.5 billion US dollar, boosting visibly the business of the FNB retail and other services sectors with very positive feedback from both consumers and businesses. Talent is essential to fintech development. We are working on that as well. Indeed, we have doubled the annual quota for the quality migrant admission scheme to 4,000 to welcome talents from all over the world. This scheme, of course, includes fintech professionals. The latest policy address announced the establishment of professional qualification standards for the fintech sector. That will create a clear and accredited professional development ladders for practitioners. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time I give up this spotlight for FinTech Week's dynamic opening sessions. A power talk featuring a powerhouse quartet of FinTech innovators and enablers. I know you will enjoy the session and the many to follow this week. My thanks to Invest Hong Kong, the Hong Kong Monetary Authority, the Securities and Futures Commission, and the Insurance Authority for organizing this year's Hong Kong FinTech Week. I'm grateful as well to all the sponsors involved 
in ensuring its certain success. I wish you all a memorable FinTech Week and, a, and the best of business and health in the coming year. Thank you.